Hi, I'm Maruda Driver from Zog.com and I'm getting my bolt operated on. Uh, right now I'm going to the clinic because I'm not going to a hospital. Hospitals are poor, pe poor people, you know? And my English absolutely sucks and you're gonna have to deal with it. Uh, I'll, be doing, I'll be doing another bit when we get to the clinic. Okay, there's the entrance. There's your open sign. I have to get there. Patient admission. Lots of happy faces in here. I have to be patient like a patient. God, I'm waiting. I already got admitted. <laughs> now uh, I'm told to go somewhere. I'm gonna be following. Her. I do not get a lot of privacy in this room, and plus invisible man is gonna get pissed. So I'm going to the bathroom. Now you, you don't want to see this. Oh, well, maybe you want to see the bathroom. Now which? Is this one? No? Yes. I'm not gonna change in front of the camera, so... Okay, so I'm um, uh, changing to my robes, but they were nice uh, enough to tell me that I can keep my underwear, so you're not going to see too many ass shots in there. And uh, while I was changing, they, they left me a um, pre-op auto-evaluation about, well, let's see, let's see what happens. Please answer the following questions carefully. They're designed to help your anesthesia, the guy with the anesthesia, and therefore they contribute to your safety and wellness during and after your operation. One, have you ever received local or regional anesthesia? Uh, yes. Have you ever or some direct uh, relative had any related anesthesia related problems? Mm. No. Have you been taking any medication including antiseptics in the last month? Yes. Hell yes. Which ones? Uh, shit, there's called. La motrigina. La motrigina. Y lo, la, la dosis, 200 miligramos. Y dijo, todos los días, tiene que poner la frecuencia. Ok, so 200 miligramos la motrigina. Mm -hmm. Every freaking day, because I'm bipolar. I'm mad. Are you allergic on s or sensitive to something? Yeah, I'm very, very sensitive guy. But allergic? Mm -mm. No. Have you suffered any of the following diseases? Cardiac disease, loss of air, 
chest pain exercise. What? Exercise is a disease? You can get sick from exercise? Now what? Rheumatic fever, high blood pressure, pulmonary disease, chronic bronchitis, asthma, uh, uh, tuberculosis, you know. Okay, continuing. Kidney disease? Yeah, I have a kidney disease. So I'm gonna put a check mark. I'm gonna put there in Spanish and from Polykistica Renal. Okay, jaundice, diabetes, thrombophlebitis, epilepsy, severe arthritis, uses a pacemaker, abandoned bleeding, any other serious disease. Do you have any prosthesis, dental prosthesis? Uh, no. Do you smoke? Yes. How many a day? Let's lie and say 10. Do you regularly drink alcohol? No. And my signature. Okay, there's my signature so everybody can see it. And then... Oh. Informed consent. The following document is an act of voluntary decision realized by a competent person in which they accept or reject the actions, blah, 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 blah. Do you want to get your ball operated on? I, Ariel Alvarez, uh, been informed by the doctor or something because I forgot the name of my doctor. Villalobos. Villalobos by Dr. Villalobos. And I consent from procedure surgery, blah blah. blah. I don't know what the hell is that, so I, I'm gonna leave that for them to fill in. And I agree in receiving anesthesia, corresponding treatments, blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. Uh, basically, by signing this, I, uh, if the doctor screwed up, it's not their fault. Well, I uh, hereby swear I have declared everything about my, uh, how do you say anterior in English? Um, my previous health state and unhealthy lifestyles. Yeah, I really lead an unhealthy lifestyle. Blah, 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 blah. Patient signature. So. Okay, I'm gonna put my signature in this and then uh, someone can fill the rest. Okay. So I, I was checking out the. You, you, you know, the pre-op evaluation and that shit that made me read and sign and... Uh, there's a funny bit on the, there's the pre-op preparation, as you can see. <laughs> and it has the... the a, a little person thing there. It has a happy face. Can you see that? It has a happy face and it was all scribble all over the scrotum because there, there's where the, the knife is gonna go so uh, yeah I'm just uh, curious why the hell the guy in the drawing is so happy check it out it's like high on something okay now uh, the only thing I have to do is wait at least I have TV but it has to be the smallest TV ever I mean seriously trying to step as far as I can from it so you can have some some point of uh, reference to see yeah there's a, a couch or sofa or something and there's the TV damn